Yo, what is good? Hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, we're going to be discussing how to access your web front. People have asked, how do they ban players? So we're going to go over that. We're going to show you how um, you get your client ID, how you can get your um, unique passcode to access the web front and just the functionality of the web front overall. So if you haven't enabled it, because obviously in the tutorial, we didn't enable the web front just to keep it nice and simple. And if you haven't enabled it, it's not a massive issue. You don't need to change your server files. They're all good. The only thing you would need to do is delete your IW4X admin folder. If you haven't kept an unextracted copy, download that again quickly, extract it, launch it. Then you're going to enable the web front you're going to put in all your same parameters as you did for your last public server. It's then going to allow you to then connect to the web front. So the next steps, I've explained that the next step you would want to do is when you've just first time setting up the web front, because you've now set up your IW4 admin again, you're going to want to press um, enter your server and then you're going to want to enter a few commands. Now, if you don't know what you're doing, this is kind of awkward. I didn't know there was a wiki list for um, IW4X commands. And um, it can be a bit confusing on how to actually get your client ID and things like that. Because they're specific commands. So what you're going to do is press T on your keyboard. And then you're going to claim ownership of your server. This is only relevant for public servers, so if you've got a private server, this video, you don't need this. So we're going to type in owner with the exclamation mark, and then we're just going to press enter. That's going to say, congratulations, you are now the owner. The next command you're going to need is who. And this is going to give you your client ID. And basically... Your client ID is the number next to the at symbol in brackets. So if that's a 14, whatever that number is, remember the number because we're going to need that. I'll just wait for this to go to the next map because it's probably going to not let me enter a chat command. Come on, hurry up. So once this is it, I'll show you the next command. Alright, so the next command that we need to put in, we've got our client ID. The next command we need is going to be explanation mark RT. Now, if you press that, that's going to then generate a unique code and it's going to say it in the ch chat. Only you can see that, so don't worry. Um, sometimes the RT code, you might have to put it in twice. Worst case, I had to enter it three times for it to generate my pass. Once we've got that, we're all set on that front. Um, so I need to get control of my mouse again. There we go. And then we've got our pass. We've got our credentials to get in. The other thing you're going to need to do is hover your way over to here. This is how you're going to get access to your unique web front. So you're going to copy that. Control and C. And then you're going to head over to an open browser. You're going to paste that there. But you're going to get rid of these zeros. And this is where your IP4 address is going to go in. So enter your IP4 address. That's then going to bring you to this page. But you're not going to be logged in. So on this left hand side you're going to see a key where it says login. Click on that. It's going to boot up a new window. Your client ID is going to go in there. So obviously if, you have, if your number was 14, enter 14 as your client ID. And then 
put in your unique code and it is case sensitive so once you've done that you're going to log in you're going to see this so now we're into our web front and it's going to show us who's on our server it's going to show you what clients are there how many admins has there been any reports I set up my server because I've done the tutorial video and obviously I shared all my details with everyone. Obviously I reset up a new server so mine's only been active a short amount of time. It will show you the max players. Yesterday we had four people in the same lobby. We've had 232 clients come into the lobbies today. If this had been running longer it would show top players and I can show you on a different person's network it will show you statistics how many total kills they've got um, and it shows you all the top players of the server which is pretty cool. Okay so that's out of the way so we can close that one now. So in here it's going to show you who the admins are if there's been any penalties um, and we can come down to the scoreboard and if there was real players in here it would show the ping as you can see it would show my ping which is 12 at the moment um, but another thing you can do if you want to because this has been a main question how do you ban players so if you wanted to ban someone from your server you would just click on their name it's going to give you statistics how long they've been playing how many times they've connected to the server, what map they've last played. You're just going to click on here, reasons, cheating, sub reason, cheating, exploiting is not allowed. Then you can permanently ban them, ban them for four weeks, one week, whatever. So say if someone's being abusive or whatever, no, racist, if you wish to obviously moder moderate that kind of stuff then that would be your reasons so we've got that out of the way if you just wanted to kick someone from the lobby you could just press that button here and reason blah -de blah you can view stats on the person like i say if this had been running longer it would be collecting stats which is a pretty cool feature um but we don't need to do that you can send a message to that person you can add a note set a tag not so useful here's another useful thing say if your friend is also um, moderating your server with you you can make them an owner or you can make them an administrator and this is important for the commands list because certain commands can only be administered by a certain level of um, client in the server so there's certain commands an administrator won't be able to do, they need to be a senior administrator. There's certain commands that a senior administrator can do, an owner has to do it. So that's how you can give certain users on your server a client title. So we've covered that. You can also click join game. Obviously I can't because they're a bot and it's my server. So I'm already in it, so I can't do that. But you, if I went to someone else's server, I can do that. Um, have we covered everything about this? I think we have. So there is a commands list on the wiki, and you can. These commands go into the text chat. They're not to go into the server console, and they're not to go into the games console. There is some very useful commands. You can ban players on the fly while the game's running. I find it would be easier to use the server on um, our web front, but you can just say you'd put exclamation mark B, the player, the reason. Like I say, you need to be a senior admin to be able to ban a player. You can unban, temp ban. You can do a restart of the IW4 admin. You can quit it from with these commands there's some more important commands you can do a fast restart of the current map you can change the map rotation cycle to the next map in the rotation you can change to a specific map these are the codes that you need to do these are the levels that you need to be able to administer those commands um, then if we go down you just have to check this stuff out but then if we go down there's some really cool stuff that you can do one that someone's asked before 
switching teams. So say if you had a public server, but you you had private spaces on your public server, and it was just your friends, and you wanted to organise who was on which team, you could use this command, switch specific players to the opposite team. You can set people as spectator with these commands. Um, you could send a message to everyone on the server, broadcast a message to all. Hey everyone, I think you're all gay. Silly stuff like that. You can send private messages. List all currently connected admins. You can type help, which will bring up all the available commands, but they're all they're going to be all the commands on this list anyway. Um, reset the anti-cheat. You can... Basically, like I said, I'm going to share the link to this commands list. And I'm sure you'll find that useful. Uh, we've covered that. I've covered how you get into that. What else did I want to cover? quickly about the server I'm going to make a separate video because the title on this is going to be too long to be specific to the server list so I'm just going to cover the first part in this this is the IW4X server list is which I've been referring to about when your server is public this is the server list so as you can see there's 560 servers there's a thousand players currently online and your server will go into this list so they cover many games h1 that would be cod modern warfare modern warfare 2 modern warfare 3 that's like cod ghost i think that's black ops black ops 2 3 um you get the picture so if you want to find servers for other games you can use this as well h2m is currently has the most active players on their servers um so yeah, I'm going to make a different video about that because there's too much to say and like I said, it's not going to cover it in the title so it's not going to be very specific. This was more about the web front, how we can access it, how we can get our password credentials, how we can ban players, how we can use specific commands inside the text chat. So. With that out of the way, I think I've wrapped up everything up, so I'm going to stop rambling on. I hope you find this useful. Um, another thing I will just mention, IWX4, they do everything. Obviously, no one's getting paid for the stuff they do. They provide a brilliant service. They're not asking for money. They do accept donations. I'm not saying that you need to, but... I think what they're doing for the community, obviously Activision are a bunch of greedy bastards and shut the game down. And people like this, they keep the community going by hosting servers, helping everything run. I think they're worth a donation in my eyes. I'm going to give them a don donation. I'm not saying you have to. I just would like to highlight the fact that most of the people behind these projects are earning zero money. They're doing it out of passion for the love of gaming, which is really cool to see because you don't get that with big companies, AAA titles, you know. They're, they've got little passion and they're just there to squeeze money out of people so I think it's really cool because this game wouldn't exist if it wasn't for people in the community that um, are keeping it running so it's really cool anyway I'm going to shut up peace out much love and I'll catch you in the next one